this week we've come to all the places everybody's told us to come and see. Yeah. And um, yeah, in case I hadn't come across, I'm not feeling it. Good morning. Morning. Um, so since you last saw us, we have left the Astorius region and we've cut across land into Galicia. Everybody keeps telling us, go to Galicia, go to Galicia. You think here's beautiful, wait till you see Galicia. Mm. And I think we made a mistake because we, like I said, we cut across land. It looked okay. It was beautiful, but no better than any other region of Spain or certain other areas of the world we've seen. But our, our neighbours, this is us over here. Hello, Wendy. Hello, Keith. Hello, Matt Keith. They um, they took the coastal route and said it was absolutely beautiful, stunning. So oh, did they? yeah. Uh, so maybe okay. we made a mistake there. I mean, we got here last night. It was really busy. There was some party going on over yeah. in a marquee, and we picked up these local. Would you call them biscuits? Uh, kind of like very dried biscuity donuts. Yeah, it's a local thing for this area. But they, they were really nice, I like them. I'm glad. Yeah. You ate enough of them. It, uh, there was a packet of 12, and we gave four to Wendy and Keith. Where's the off bun? Oh. <laughs> Darren ate four, and there's still four for him for today. Yeah, they're, they're only tiny. They're like that. I think the, uh, the plan is, is we're gonna head uh, a tiny bit north from here about 20 minutes or so because there is another area where a lovely couple from Navarre told us about and said we had to go and visit so welcome to St Vincent Grove yeah am I pronouncing it I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right <laughs> something similar I, 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 I'm this is gonna sound bad I don't get it I'm so confused it's not blowing my mind. Does, does that make sense? It's beautiful, but it's no more beautiful than any of the other places we've come through. Yeah, it's, I think it's just, this has been, this whole region has been built up so massively by people to be the most incredible place on this planet. Mm. But I'm kind of going, it's like Great Yarmouth, we've, Sun. <laughs> this video really isn't starting out how I thought it was going to. <laughs> it's not. The second week in a row. Well, yeah, but last week wasn't our fault. No, last. No, I'm getting the wrong way around. Last week was our fault. Last week we just went to places at the wrong time and just generally yeah. failed. This week we've come to all the places everybody's told us to come and see. Yeah. And. Um, yeah, in case I hadn't come across, I'm not feeling it. <laughs> You're not? No. Wow. Although, the other problem, thinking about it. What's that? The weather. Yeah, it's going to pee down. Today is the last day of sunshine we've got for apparently a week. But it's also the first day of sunshine we've had for nearly a week, so. Yeah. This could be an interesting video. I like this. Just stood out on the rocks here. I'm gonna mooch around, see what we can find. The water is just crystal clear. There's these lovely rock formations across there. This I, like, this I like. This I get. I'm loving looking through these rock pools and stuff. Yeah. This one down here is so full of life. Hopefully that's gonna come out on camera, but. What's like the, 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 the plant looking things? Pink ones with the bits that stick out. Yeah. Anemone. I 
we could spend all day wandering around here, but <laughs> considering I know. this is going to be our only day of sunshine, I think we need to get on, but I'm curious as to where that path goes, over the other side there. To another cove, I imagine. We're uh, up on that walkway now. I'm going to take a quick wander along. I'm not going to go too far, just hello glasses. <laughs> just going to go and uh, see what there is. This is lovely. <laughs> this is glorious. These stones are almost like megaliths that yeah. could have been placed. See, the thing is, is, as soon as you get away from the, the buildings and out into the nature of it, it's, it really is very, very pretty. And this does appear to be a walkway that goes all the way around the coast here, doesn't it? Mm. This is the walkway that runs yeah. all the way around, off around the side there. But this, this I get. This, this, yeah. this is more like here. Yeah. You just this have is, to walk a little yeah. bit further away to find the coves that are quiet and... This is beautiful. Kind of in nature, you've got the, the trees, which by the way, Galicia. That's one thing you really lots, do have. Lots, lots of, trees of trees. And really, like, I was going to say massive ones, but they're not. They're just very tall, aren't they? Very tall and very um, evenly planted. It yeah. must have taken them a very long while because they're all in dead straight lines. Mm. Whichever way you look. Yeah. But I think this is just spectacular. Yeah. I do wonder, however, if we need to call this a day. If this, if this is a, uh, the summer region, is it time to leave Spain and go to Portugal? I don't know. We, I think we've got a lot of planning to do because this really hasn't worked out or panned out how we thought it was going to. We uh, still haven't got back to uh, Percy yet because we thought we'd have a, just to wander around and try and see what there is. Everything is shut. It is like a ghost town. I think it kind of proves we've come into Galicia a long time of year. Yep. Oh well. See, people say to us, how do we find all these places? How do we always... We don't always get it right. Definitely got this one wrong. No, but this is the first time we've gone on just purely on a recommendation though, isn't it? Yes, yeah. We'll blame someone else. Before we head back to where we stayed last night, mm -hmm. do you come up to the, what's this, the Mirador? Mirador a uh, Serradea. Ah, on the side. Yep, that is impressive. The, the big rock. Yes, that's... the big rock balancing on another big rock on another big rock. Yeah, that's very cool. And oh. this side is a platform that walks around and out into to a viewpoint and you yeah. just... Yeah, looks oh. like there's another one up there. Because... Uh, it's only a couple of hundred metres up uh, from the car park. We, we've brought the two boys with us. Although Seb really wasn't feeling that. No, he, he had the brakes on all the time. Big old portion of nope, I don't want to go up there. Yeah. <laughs> he does that quite a lot, unfortunately. Yeah. That's pretty. Oh, beautiful. That's a lovely view. So this is the, the Lincoln Road that connects you back to the mainland. I believe most of this area does flood occasionally. And uh, where we were last night is kind of over the other side of that little lump. Yeah. It's lovely. Yeah. It really is. And that's the shame about this. Galicia is very pretty. It's just clearly heavily geared towards the summer. Mm. We just come at the wrong time. Yeah. Right, 
I think we're going to get something to eat. Not quite traditional Galician, but... <laughs> burger King burger with cheddar. Yes. I, I got <laughs> swayed by a cheddar burger thing advert. And if you yeah. live in Spain, you know what I'm talking about. We miss cheddar. You don't get really good cheddar here very often. So we're going to get a cheddar burger and then head back to last night's campsite and kind of work out what we're actually going to do. Yeah. Good morning. <laughs> so um, it's actually been a few days since you last saw us. Yeah. Basically, we left where we were. We've come down to the furthest south we can in Galicia, Spain. Mm -hmm. Found a nice little park up here on solid ground because basically it has done nothing but rain, rain, rain again and rain a bit more for the last two or three days so we've just been hibernating but we quite like it here it's That's been very nice. quiet it's a strange place because there's a couple of old buildings there and then what looks like modern holiday lets just there yeah but the one thing I, I do find has been keeping us amused bless them for the last few days so this is clearly on one of the the Camino routes for Santiago and um, yeah, they clearly walk up Portugal. Oh, which by the way, <laughs> other side of the river there, that's Portugal, that's our next stop. Um, but yeah, so they clearly walk up through Portugal and get on Couldn't perfect have timing. That better. Get on one of these things, which is a river taxi from Portugal to Spain. <laughs> and then they all stomp through in the piddling rain. Bless them. Looking miserable as sin. They really did yesterday. I'm sure they're supposed to do that for fun. We've not actually mentioned where we are, we're in a place called Apasache. That's here, which is right at the very bottom point at, uh, in Galicia, just above Portugal. It is a strange little place, like I said. It's, mm. it's like the town that gets completely forgotten for most of the year. And what seems to be the case of what we've worked out now, which is the case for most of Galicia, apart from summer, no one comes here. It's clearly a summer place. Yeah. But before we leave here, we are, there's some, you're not going to see from here, but up on the, the hill behind here somewhere, there is a, like a little mountain. Big lump of big rock. Big hill with that a we can go up it. and have a look on. With a good view. Before of we then, head a little bit north or a, long, a little bit along the river here to I think where we're going to try and stay tonight before we cross over into Portugal yeah okay all right you ready yep because uh, <laughs> yeah, this is why it. we're not sure what's going to happen today because yeah we are expecting another storm the weather does not be wanting let's, to play uh, ball let's hit the road Jack we've got 10 minutes we should be in the meantime it. This building was very pretty, but there is absolutely zero on Google Maps to explain what it was. Clearly very derelict. You know what's gonna happen. Well, that impending storm is gonna wait until we just get to the castle and then it's just gonna throw it down with everything that it's got. Yeah, it's looking that way. <laughs> yeah. Very much so. Yeah. I thought it wasn't supposed to hit until 12, but that's definitely looking like it's going to hit a little earlier than that. I mean, it's what, quarter to 11, but hey. Where am I going? Uh, up that yeah, hill. Up there. All right, this is where we turn left and start to go up, up, up. Head up. However, this one, <laughs> at least is paved. It is. It's very steep though. To be fair, it doesn't look it on the camera. Oh, look at that. 
wow. So <laughs> have you? Yeah. I didn't realise this, I can obviously see it, but you know what I mean, when you get up here, it looks a lot higher than it does from down there, that's for sure. Mm. So we're, we're, we were over here over somewhere, there. weren't we? Yeah. Directly down there. Ah, yeah. You can just, just see the just big this building. area here. And I think where we're staying tonight is that village over there, I think. Mm, you can't see a bridge up there. No. It's near a bridge, isn't no, it? No, it's actually, you're right. I, I'm corrected, it's a lot further around actually, because it's up and around the corner of the, the river, there's a bridge over into Portugal. Because this is Portugal. That's cool. See you soon, Portugal. But uh, yeah, so the reason we've come up here is not just for the views, but there's some old stuff. <laughs> Older than us. Ancient archaeological stuff. Yeah. <laughs> However, something tells us we might need to do this quite quickly. <laughs> Have a look, we, it's cloudy. Around the big puddle. Yeah, around the big puddle. You go that side, I go this side. All right, darling. So, we've got patches of sun, but oh boy, that is a rainstorm and a half over there. Isn't it just? You can actually see it. Well, you, you can't can even see, see the, the ocean burst. below. Wow. But look at that coastline. Yeah, that's a bit special. That looks really spectacular from here. That's, what, this. Gal that's what Galicia is all about though, isn't it? Yes. It's Galicia all is definitely about its coastline. Beaches and... And I'm sorry, Galicia, we've not done you justice properly this time. No. Next time, we, sh we should have come, we'll in come the back summer. in summer. Yeah. But look ah. at that from above. So this is what we've come to see. Lots of round circle things. It's another Celtiberican village. Did I hear you say something about 3,000 people lived up here? Three to 5,000 people lived up here, apparently. Wow. Got a good view. Yeah. To get in here, if we haven't mentioned it, is... For us, with the, uh, the motorhome was four euros for the motorhome, which included the driver, and then one euro fifty extra for everybody thereafter. Yep. Although I think cars were cheaper, weren't they? Yep. Bye then. Come on. So to be fair, me. Alison is right telling me to come on this time. Yes. <laughs> that is definitely getting closer. Yeah. Oh, we don't want to get be getting soaked. really wet. And to be fair, we don't want to be going back down that road when it's heaving down either. And very slippy. Yes, indeed. That's one thing we have noticed about the roads in Galicia, isn't it? Because they're, when they're dry, they get quite a lot of oil and stuff on them. So when they get wet, they do get slippy when you've got a huge house. Huge house on wheels, yeah. To be fair, Galicia, sorry, but your roads are not great. <laughs> no, they're not. They, they could they do really with a little aren't. attention. Yeah. yeah. Lots of potholes. You, you guys from England moan about the state of British roads. <laughs> Why do you come to Galicia? Right, let's quickly show you this thing. So, settlement. Settlement, that's the word I was looking for. Settlement. So, it does look like it's just the bottom remains of each of the buildings. But they've rebuilt this one. And I was going to say, they look like, well, they've rebuilt one there. That one, and there's another one here. Oh, I didn't see that one. So, let's have a look at this one first. Oh, okay. It's just a little round house. So this is apparently what people would have lived in. Reconstruction. Ooh. Sorry, any lizards that we might disturb. Nice or carpet. Snakies. <laughs> oh, that'd be cool sleeping up there. Yeah. They didn't have space, did they? Proper basic. Yeah. So this is Iber this is before the this Romans? This is Kel Celt Iberican, which is before the Romans. Before the Romans, so yeah. Uh, yeah. Over, what's that make it? Over 2,000 years then? Uh, I think it said first century BC. Wow. That rainstorm is really kicking in. Yeah. That's getting closer and closer and closer. I think what I'm going to do is quickly take some uh, footage of this so at least we can see it afterwards. Yes, indeed. <laughs> we've, we've run back to the motorhome because um, it's absolutely started heaving down. Oh, 
We're going to give it a shot again in a second because there does look like there's some blue sky heading our way. But that just hit all of a sudden, didn't it? Mm. So we promise we will go back and show you the place properly. Maybe, if the weather changes. Right. It seems to stop. Okay. Alison's got a jacket on. We're going to run for it. That stopped. Oh. The only thing is, I'm now sopping wet. <laughs> yeah, me too. Oh, things we do. Right, back down the stairs and go and see these round things. That's where we were looking a little while ago. Bright sunshine here. Yeah, over there. <laughs> Bad burst. something down there with a board that's cordoned off. That's the sacrificial together. stone. <laughs> to be fair, darling, we could do with a sacrifice, stop this rain. <laughs> <laughs> what do you reckon? Yes. Any volunteers? I was going to say, let's not look at mountain goats. I love this tree. Sebastian's getting old. Bubby! <laughs> How is it? Is it sacrificial? Sadly not for you, no. It's petroglyphs. OK. Well, then Sebastian's safe. He is indeed safe. So these are petroglyphs? Pictures? Yeah. Yeah. Where? So if you look on here, there's some going up that edge, some going up that edge on the top, okay. and then lots over on there. But I can't actually make out any of them. Oh no, I lie. I can just about see that. It's really tough to see. Yeah. I'm guessing you would need a dry day and with the sun being in the right place to kind of put a bit of it's interpretive art. relief on it. What a difference. Yeah. <laughs> it's mad. Yeah. Considering, like I said, we were freezing cold a little while ago, I'm now starting to get over warm again. Yeah. Because the sun's back out and I should have had the glasses on the head but I left them in, the, left them in Percy because it was pointless with the weather. Oh. And the view is amazing when you can see it. Yeah. Yeah. Gorgeous. Loving it. Right, we're going to go up top. Let's get up the top. Oh, bubble. Come around here. Oh, look at that. Yep, look at this. Oh, there's a path down there. Just, just down here. Oh, wow. Oh, look. That is, yeah, Southern Galicia. That's where it's at. This has yeah. really redeemed it for me. This is yeah. phenomenal. But we had to miss a lot of the coast oh. coming across, didn't we? So Yeah, yeah. I think the general advice we would give if you're coming to Galicia, it's the coast, stick to the coastal regions. Mm. That's where all the beauties are. And just how beautiful is this though? Gorgeous. So I don't think there's a lot up here apart from good views. A sanctuary. And, and a hotel. hotel. Yeah. And a and a little and a little, little shop. Cat shop. They might sell a sticker for the back of Percy, what do you reckon? They might. Stickers procured. And a t-shirt. You got a t-shirt? I did. A Galician t-shirt. Seven <laughs> euros. Bargain. Yeah, I was really thrown by that. Most of the places, even in Spain, it's been like 20 plus euros for a t-shirt, as in a touristy t-shirt. Yeah. Seven euros. That's phenomenal. And it seems good quality, designs. doesn't it? Yeah, it did. However, we did have a conversation with the, the lady in the shop. Yeah. And she did kind of confirm our thoughts. 
She says northern Galicia is, she said not as beautiful mm. as southern Galicia. She actually went, eh. yeah, <laughs> which, we, which we, kind of, we do do Yeah, that. we did kind of do the, yeah, about it a little bit. From what we gather, Galicia is famous for Santiago and obviously all the Caminos to that area. Um, mm. And even Galicians seem to prefer the south of Galicia. Because it's more green, she said, didn't more she? More green, more mountainous, more going on. Yeah. Which I agree with. I love this. This is a proper bit of us. Yeah. But when we said, is it also because of the beautiful beaches? She said no, didn't she? Yeah. She said the beaches in Valencia are more beautiful. Yeah. Which to us, I suppose, because we're used to that beautiful white sand just stretching forever, the gorgeous rocks and yeah. stuff is a change. Hmm. People get used to things, don't they? Yeah. We've been spoiled and got used to the beauty of Valencia. But of course, you can't come to a place like this without... Uh, more stairs. <laughs> well, yeah, more stairs, but <laughs> going to the highest point anyway. Of course. I like the stairs, though. Yes. I think that's very cute with the, 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 the wooden handrail and the, yeah. the big old stone stairs. Ugh. Not very even, but they're very cool. They are very cool. Imagine the sense of accomplishment we would have if we had walked all the way up the mountain. Although I'm glad we didn't. Wow. Oh yeah. That's a bit of a drop. <laughs> yeah. Don't get too close, just in case. You know how clumsy you are. Yeah. Yeah. It's windy up here though, isn't it? It is. <laughs> Chilly. Yeah. Well, do you know what? This has changed the complexion of this video this week, hasn't it? Yes. Over the last... Yeah. Last few hours has really changed it for us. To be fair, last couple of days. I know it's been raining, but mm. it's been lovely here. Yeah. But we're not finished yet. I think we're going to head back down now, get to tonight's stop, which is just up the road. Yeah. And then we need to make a decision whether or not we're taking you into Portugal this week or next week. Yes, indeed. It's been a few days since you last saw us and more rain so we were up the mountain thing seeing the thing and we said we were coming to this park up and we did but we didn't expect the rain to hit again and as heavy as it did it's not been as heavy this in the whole time has it it just chucked it down so yeah i'm pushing us to move to portugal yeah so we've been and done our pile of laundry for today and we will hang that up to dry when we get there. Yeah. That was yeah. quite handy having a laundrette, like five minutes walk around the corner from the free air. That was oh, very yeah. helpful. Literally around the corner. So yeah, like Alison says, we, we've kind of got to this point where, sorry Galicia, but we're going to let you down because we've not done you justice as we should have done. And we're going to leave. We're going to make a move, well now, to Portugal. So. As soon as Sebastian's finished his carrot. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Let's go then. Famanos. A Portugal. Right. As we head across the bridge, apparently this is it. This is the border into... This is the border... Border? Border. Border. <laughs> into Back Portugal. In this is the border with Portugal. Okay, well, that looks rough as hell. Welcome to Portugal, darling. Welcome to Portugal. My first time here, never been here. I've been to the Algarve, but not the rest of Portugal. I'm looking forward to this. I'm excited to see a new country. They have a town called Valença. Yes, we saw that in the map, didn't we? The oh, signpost is there. It's a strange little house. Look. What? <laughs> well, I'm sure Portugal will be lovely. <laughs> Hi. 
I was going to say good morning, but it's not. It's afternoon. No, it's afternoon. And it's a couple of days later again. Mm -hmm. So, as you know, we got into Portugal and, yeah, the weather just kept going, didn't it? <laughs> Until yeah. today. And apparently now this is it. No. The sun's back out. So we have taken full advantage of where we are, being blunt, because we've got a lot of work done. We've given Percy a clean because she was minging. <laughs> I didn't realise how dirty she was on the outside yeah. until you actually start cleaning and you realise that the motorhome was grey, not white anymore. We've cleaned the inside and we did get a lot of work done and we've charged everything up because this park up is phenomenal. Yes. It's got space, I think, for 40 motorhomes with free water, free grey and uh, black waste disposal free electricity and unlike some of these places with free electricity not just for one or two motorhomes but each of the 40 spaces has got their own hookups it's incredible yeah. plus our own magic fountain yes yeah when I actually said uh, we uh, gave Percy a wash yesterday <laughs> not with normal water not with just any old water no Percy got washed with fresh mountain spring water she had her own little spa session, bless her. <laughs> oh. Feels better to have the sun out though. Yes. Still chilly today. I, I, yeah. I will need my sleeves on. Tomorrow but... I'm supposed to get back up into the mid-twenties again, so we're looking mm -hmm. forward to that. And I think that's kind of the weather's what's kind of ruined Galicia this week. It's not. Wrong time of year. Yeah, wrong time of year. It's definitely a, a summer tourist vacation place. Bad storm from the UK. And the, the weather's just, it's, it's now the final nail in the coffin. Yeah. But I think it would be beautiful right time of year. Yeah. So, plan now. Um, we're now in Portugal, as you know. We're going to spend the next six weeks. Ish. Knowing us, that may get stretched on to seven or eight. Mm -hmm tour in Portugal. Um, gonna see as much of the country as we can before we enter back into Spain and into Andalusia. But that's uh, for next week. So for now, thanks for watching and um, we'll see care. you next Sunday. Take care. Bye. Bye.